talking about this all those colors right there behind you the tropical updates sir. yeah so we've got a 50 percent chance of development now from the hurricane center uh, for a wave that i gotta be honest with you doesn't look good at all right now and there's a lot of things fighting it but the models are starting to jump on it they've been doing it for a week at least the european so we're going to start there today let's, let's start with this because if you've been watching my social media youtube facebook instagram all that good stuff we've been showing you videos of this this is the area of concern and obviously we're here in Florida, so we have to watch it. It's a 50% chance for developing, but that's days three, four, and five. So the timing on this is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And a lot of the modeling is actually coming up just east of Florida or right along the East Coast. So here's where we stand right now. This is the wave. You see this X? They're talking about all of this here, but there, there's really not much to it. It's definitely not organized. And if you see this little spin up here, let me show you this. This is the water vapor loop. You can really see this spin here. Counterclockwise, that's a mid and upper level low. That's not really good for storms. You want a high pressure over top of that to make it go. But this may help a little bit, but the orange, that's dry air. Not only dry air, it's dust. And that is not good for developing systems. So this thing will struggle to get from where it is up towards the Lesser Antilles and then into the Bahamas by this upcoming weekend. It's going to be a real big struggle. And that's why the GFS model, which is showing some of this dust, really isn't doing too much with it while the European is. So let me show you both models. The white lines are the GFS, and you just see something down at the bottom. There's nothing there. The yellow is the euro. Look at this. That's Friday morning, barely anything, but it does see a small low pressure moving through the Turks and Caicos. Saturday night into Sunday morning. This is actually Sunday morning around midday. You can see it's in the Bahamas and then it just kind of curves up and then it actually starts to recurve towards the Carolinas by late Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. So right now, most of the modeling is actually trending. The GFS is picking up a little bit on this and it's kind of in a similar area, but it's too far out in time. So this is a really good way to look at it. Day seven plus, we're just getting a general idea, general idea something may happen. Here's where we are right now. We're five to seven days out, so we're watching the models. We're getting a better idea, but it's still way too early to panic, obviously, right? But way too early to, to pin everything down. We don't have model agreement. We don't even have a system. It's not even an invest yet, so the models will start going on it. Once we get into three to five days, which would be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we'll start to get a better handle on it. And if it's going to affect us, it looks like it would be Saturday night into Sunday of this upcoming weekend. So we've got plenty of time. The trend is good right now because it is just east of Florida. We'd like to see all these storms recurve this year. That'd be great.